The monk who sold his Ferrari mainly described a positive pressure to keep you inspired. Never set a goal without attaching a timeline to it. Stay with your goal for 21 days. Enjoy the process. Hello everyone, I am Swana Jalil of Progressive Great 12 Science here to introduce you all to my all time favorite highly inspiring book The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin Sharma. We are all here for some special reasons. Stop being a prisoner of your past, become the architect of your future. Robin Sharma Robin Sharma is considered one of the top 5 leadership experts worldwide. He is also the author of best selling books. Robin is admired by some of the world's most successful people. Robin quit his career as a lawyer at the age of 25 to pursue stress management and spirituality. The book, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, The Seven Stages of Self-Awakening was first published in 1996 and 15 million books have been sold worldwide. The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari is a self-help classic telling the story of fictional lawyer Julian Mantle who sold his mansion and Ferrari to study the seven virtues of the sages of Sivana in the Himalayan mountains. The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari mainly describes the seven virtues required for a life of inner peace, joy and a wealth of spiritual gifts. The seven virtues include Virtue number 1. Master Your Mind the first principle is associated with the magnificent garden. The magnificent garden is a metaphor of our brain. Sowing good seeds will eventually produce tasty fruits and beautiful flowers. Improve your quality of life by improving your quality of thoughts. Substitute your negative thoughts that are considered as weeds in your garden with positive thoughts. Virtue number two, follow your purpose. The secret of happiness is simple. Find out what you truly love to do and then direct all of your energy towards doing it. Once you do this, abundance flow into your life and all your desires are filled with ease and grace. Some steps that help you follow your purpose mentioned in the book are Have a clear vision of your outcome. Create a positive pressure to keep you inspired. Never set a goal without attaching a timeline to it. Stay with your goal for 21 days. Enjoy the process. Virtue number 3. Practice Kaizen. Success cannot be pursued. Success ensues. It flows as the unintended byproduct of efforts concentrated in the direction of a worthy cause. Kaizen is the Japanese method of improvement and optimization. Robin Sharma believes the most effective technique for practicing Kaizen is doing the things that you fear. Consistency engaging with fearful activities will encourage the death of fear altogether. Virtue number 4. The power of discipline. The notion of discipline encourages you to consistently perform small acts of courage. In Sharma's fable, discipline is represented by a pink wire coil and is worn by the sumo wrestler to protect his modesty. Strengthen your willpower and develop self-discipline. Virtue number 5. Respect your time. Time slips through our hands like grains of sand, never to return again. Those who use time wisely from an early age are rewarded with rich, productive and satisfying lives. Virtue number 6. Selflessly serve others. The noblest thing you can do is to give to others. Start focusing on your higher purpose. Virtue number 7. Embrace the present. Live in the now. Savor the gift of the present. Never sacrifice happiness for achievement. Savor the journey and live each day as your last. If you are looking out for ways to improve your life, this book is a great read. It is one of the most empowering books of all time. The book primarily teaches how to build a life that guarantees long-lasting happiness and fulfillment. It enlightens you that focusing on building your inner life is more important than building your outer life. I deeply believe that this book will surely lighten up your inner talent, your passion, your dreams. Thank you.